We have $50 from Nathan saying, Loving these Zelda speedruns. Great to see such interesting runs for such a great cause. Keep up the good work, everyone. Donate to that Corona Trigger 100% run. Not me. <laughs> I would forget the sword. I'd forget this. <laughs> and the bait. This is gonna be fun. I'm trying to see what it looks like on camera. Just want to know what people can see. I'm just wondering what people can see on camera. They can probably see you. Right. They can probably hear me. <laughs> One of those is a good thing, one of those is a bad thing. That stops the timer? Oh, this? Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. What happened? Start and stop pedal. Oh, for the timer. Yeah, I guess. This game's pretty obvious, but... Yeah, well... I would think. You should test it. ladder all this time. It's really the step ladder. Oh, so it's, we shorten it. Yeah, I can hear yeah. everybody. I don't know. I can hear everyone. I think I'm so. fine. Sorry. We good? Thank Thanks. You. So we are live, right? The audience is hearing us. <laughs> oh, everybody's hearing us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mostly just you, Darkwing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tone it down. So, Jay, real quick, if you got some... Jay, before you... Jay. Joe. Yeah. Real quick, before you get going. I have a $50 donation from Fred and the Randomizer Sing. <laughs> De Dear Jay Copra, I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all <laughs> counting on you. Run a choice for what the donation goes to. P.S. Fred says the sword can be found near the start. <laughs> I, I've never... What? I, we'll see. I don't know. He's, He's never seen the sword in his life, so, no. you know. This guy has a sword. I don't know where he got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we do have some donations for the file name, don't we? Yeah, that's what we need to cover oh. first. Now, should I delete all of these? They're, they're kind of sentimental to me, but... I, I I, I'll, I'll put them all up there. Just in case. Oh, man. It's okay. It's, it's was, too late. That was months ago. Okay. What's that? I said, that was months ago. Yeah. <laughs> you have a really good battery in this. Mine races between runs. It, it, it used to do race files all the time, but not recently. Oh, anyway, I think anyway. we have Iwara first, right? Who's uh, doing the donations and can tell me? 
All right, we, let's do a quick roll call. You know, the person running this is kind yeah. of important. That's okay, I'm Jake Hoker, and? I'm Lack Attack. I'm Darkwing Duck, and I'm uh, wishing Cantaloupe was here. So we have Cantaloupe here in spirit. Wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Eric. He knows Bagu. Yes. Iwata is still in the lead, so. Okay, give me the top three. Top three. Um, Ziwada, Dragoon, and Lunk. Nice. Lunk always gets in. Seems Luck? like Lunk, Lunk. Lunk. Oh yeah, yeah. Lunk. Lunk's always a popular one. Yeah. L U, right? L U and K. Okay. All right. So uh, I guess Jake Cooper should start when he's ready. Yeah. All right. Everyone's ready, right? Uh, let's do I, it. I, 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 yes. All right, let's go. I gotta figure out this pedal thing. That started the timer. Is it started? Mm hmm. All right, good. So, this is a swordless run, and a lot of people don't know that it's possible to beat this game swordless, but that's because it's not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna see how much we can do without a sword. And. Uh, so swordless starts, you know, obviously you don't have any weapons at all, and you can't do a whole lot. So the first priority is getting some sort of a weapon. Um, we can, for our options, we could go and get some money and buy some bombs, or we could even go into level one and get the bow uh, without doing much of anything and get some arrows. But what we're going to do first is get a candle, because it's a pretty versatile per piece of equipment. Um, so why don't you guys talk about the screen scrolling? Oh, well, I guess I'll take that one. Um, screen scrolling has been known in the, what you see going from side to side there, uh, was known in the task community for a long time. Um, I can't even remember when, but most of the tasks for it have been done a long time. Um, it was thought when I picked up this game in uh, 2011 that it was TAS only at the time and in uh, January of 2012 I just was playing the game and accidentally did it and uh, it kind of snowballed from there. <laughs> um, before it was just going side to side, we'll do some block clipping as well in the run and uh, we just learned how to do it. There's a lot of buffers and uh, ways to do it now. Um, there's, there's a lot of resources on it now because it's been known for four years and uh, it's been optimized quite a bit. So we're, it, it's like second nature to the vast majority of us now. We just do it. It's not at all. There, there's several ways to do it. Basically to do it, you have to be on a perfect pixel, move a frame in a side direction, and uh, then you can go through. You can go through a uh, one pixel wall, which all these screen transitions are, and it's pretty common now. So we're going to go to level two first. Um, the main reason you go here is because there's some bombs laying on the floor. Someone must have left them there. I don't know. But we're going to go pick them up. But first we have to play a little game here called You Have to Burn the Rope because these snakes are called ropes. Ooh, nice. That's what I want. Uh, the reason why he is uh, leaving the room after using the blue candle is that the blue candle can only be used once per room. So he has to exit the room and re-enter if he wants to uh, use it again. It's very important he not gets hit. He doesn't get hit. Yeah, if I get hit, it mostly wastes time because I'd have to rebuild up my consecutive counter again. Um, do you want us to cover that? Yeah, yeah we can cover yep, that. you can talk about uh, what exactly that guy in level 8 means by the 10th enemy has the bomb. So 10th enemy has the bomb is not uh, a very cryptic message uh, once we figured out what it meant. Um, it means that if you kill 10 enemies in a row, or the n 9 enemies in a row without getting hit, and then kill the 10th enemy with a bomb, you will get a bomb drop from an item dropping enemy, which he just did there. Um, Gorillas could drop bombs randomly, um, didn't get one there, but he did get the forced bomb, 
Uh, so, and that, that's what makes this run possible. Um, being able to force bombs without buying them or getting them from enemies randomly. And that, that counter cycles over and over again. Uh, it goes to 10. There is a, a fairy counter as well. Um, but if you skip the fairy counter, which is possible, uh, you can get it at every 10 increment without getting hit. And he'll be resetting his counter throughout the run uh, to, to, get, to make sure he knows where he is in the counter and uh, to force bombs in convenient locations. The, the fact that you don't have a sword means you're, and bombs are the most, uh, the, the strongest attack you have, but they're limited. So you have, if you can find any ways to increase your bomb count as much as possible, you do it in this particular run. This run is pretty cool because in any percent, there is, you use the sword, bombs occasionally, and that's about it yeah. throughout it. This one, you'll see pretty much every sub-weapon that you can use, used in various ways, other than, you know, required for like Goma or other bosses like that. So this is actually a co-op run. What, co -op <laughs> run. what <laughs> we did right there is I used the second controller and press up and A to bring up the game over screen. Uh, so we can continue and warp um, either back to the start of the overworld, if he's in the overworld or a cave, or if he's in a dungeon, it, it brings him back to the start of the cave. Now, one drawback to doing that is you're left with only three hearts. Um, so we do it early, uh, mostly in the item rooms uh, and that, uh, in that cave that we just saw. Oops. So now he's at three in the consecutive counter. And Why is he at three? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, th this game has weird ways of incrementing its consecutive counter. Um, in that case, sometimes the uh, when you uh, break apart the Zol, which the, you know the the big slow-moving gel thing, um, it'll count toward the consecutive counter. Sometimes it won't. Um, and, and there's there's specific ways on what constitutes a plus one or a plus zero. Um, it's a little bit complicated. It's not too bad. You, you, it's, it's based on a sound cue when we hear it. <laughs> All right. So right there, he had a, he was at nine in the counter. It looked like he was actually going to get the forced bomb drop, uh, but got hit on nine and then killed the enemy after. So now this room has a free bomb drop uh, from killing these keys, uh, and he can kill them with the candle. So this is a, uh, this is what we would do if it's a backup uh, strat. Yeah, backup strat. Yeah. I got a little strange pattern in, from those dark nuts. I don't really see that from yeah. the right one, but that dark nut room yeah. is probably one of the worst yeah. dark nut rooms in the game. Um, I find red dark nuts worse than blue dark nuts because they're harder to predict at times. But the the bright side of this game is that when you kill enemies and leave them, if you actually truly kill them, they stay dead. So he'll only have two dark nuts coming in here. Nice. We're just gonna take this slow. Yeah. <laughs> these, these guys do one heart of damage, so. There it is. Nicely done. All right, we'll get our life back now. Yeah. By the way, there's a reason Lack has the up A button and not me. He's not a troll. <laughs> they could just send me the start whenever they feel like it, whenever I'm yeah. switching items. But. <laughs> he has to watch what he says. And the item we just picked up is the raft, which uh, will allow uh, him to uh, reach level four later. Yep, that's its only use. There are a few uh, items you have to go to get to or complete dungeons later, but for the most part, it's very linear. Er, open-ended. Nice. Yes. Very good kill. As uh, runners of the game, though, that is the scariest boss in the game because um, if 
He's, he's extremely random in his movements, and uh, his speed increases the more claws you knock off. So he uh, got a very good pattern and, and dropped the bomb very well. And that's the worst spawn that he can get in that mm -hmm. room. Just based on how he does these rooms, he gets that particular spawn when he fights Aquaman, uh, Manhandler in uh, uh, Swordless. So now we're doing a little shopping because it's a convenient time to do it. And it's nice to have the arrows so I can actually use my bow. Um, Don't buy bombs. Yeah. <laughs> I've had nightmares in any percent buying bombs in that room. I've never done it, but oh, that'll I've kill runs. I've You've done, done it, it plenty of times, yeah. And now we're going to the trendiest store in Hyrule right here. It's, uh, even if you're wearing a shirt from this store, it's really cool. I wanted the blue ring, but they wouldn't let me have it, so maybe we'll come back later for it. So where are we off to now, Jay Coper? We're going to level four. This is kind of like any percent for a little bit here. Once we get the the bombs and the candle, until we get to the ladder. But we're not able to finish this dungeon right now, so we're gonna play a little bit of it, and then we'll have to come back later. We can't kill the boss. Yeah, the boss is. Uh, we do not have the uh, ability to kill this boss yet. So, but the ladder is extremely important in a run. Required item. In this room in the top corner, there's a, a block that doesn't let you pass through. And we use the block clip technique to walk through that, uh, to walk through that tile there to, you know, not, not have to fight the virus or worry about them. And it works on the same premise as the screen scroll of being able to, uh, um, my theory is that it tricks the game into thinking you're on a different tile, so it lets you walk into a tile or on the other side of the screen. These are fires, they're kind of, they jump happy. Get up. That's nice. Nice. Good. Okay, this is the, uh, I named this the breakfast room because it's got a whole bunch of gels and pancakes in it. Um, and it's much easier in a swordless than it is in uh, any percent because we're not allowed to, we're, you know, it's slower for us to come back in and do this usually. So this but, is the first time you'll see me leave a room and re-enter to get a better enemy set because enemies in a room always spawn in a certain order. Um, they're, they're flagged based on uh, you know number one enemy, number two enemy, number three enemy, and it uh, doesn't matter what you kill, so long as uh, you kill something, it'll, when it realizes the room, it'll read that it has two enemies remaining and it'll spawn the first two enemies. And in that case, it's really nice because it does Zolls instead of like likes, which are uh, much problematic to kill, especially in this case because it would cost a lot of bombs to kill them. Nine HP versus um, one two. for the, or two for the yeah. Zal and, and one for the gels. And for reference, bombs do four hit points with the damage. Same as the magical sword, uh, which of course we won't be getting because it's, you know, that's a sword. And we're not like fighters, yeah. we don't like swords. Ooh. So in theory, I could skip all of the hearts because, you know, you don't need them. The main reason to get them in an any percent run would be, um, you know, so you can get the better swords. Like the white sword needs five, or the magical sword needs 12. But this run's already dangerous enough, so yeah. I want a little health. Ooh, this trick. Oh, you saw a locked door up there. We leave and come back, and magically it's gone. Oh, so let's go up. Yeah. yeah, we're going to try this. the new route that we just invented a couple minutes ago. Yeah, it was right before this we came up with a new route. Ah. That trick works by... Uh, this game's overworld and, under, and uh, dungeons are connected. And since you left the dungeon going down, that means you entered the same screen in the overworld coming downward. And when you enter a back into the dungeon, it thinks since you went down, that that means you came from down, and thus the door should have been opened. <laughs> Got the map. Just getting the map because it's there. Yeah. <laughs> it was asking. Well, with the new route, it's probably going to come in handy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might get lost. <laughs> well, that's annoying. Well, at least we got a bomb out of it. Yeah. So that was a that was a force bomb. That's why I was um, 
killing the gels and uh, and trying not to get hit uh, to keep his counter oh. up so he can um, force a bomb in that room. That was the bow, if you, you know. Mm -hmm. Should know, but, you know, just in case. Yeah. So now we have to get some keys. From keys. From keys. The reason why we changed the route is because the first time you would go in there with a candle and if you didn't get all three, you'd have to come back in. So since we up A anyway and you're right at start and you don't need the keys, uh, we uh, go in there with the arrows so you can just kill the arrows or kill the keys without leaving the room. Jake Hopper just tripped the 16th consecutive enemy without getting hit, so we got a fairy. Yeah, I meant to get hit. I forgot. Not a big deal. Ball management, as you would imagine, is of extreme importance. And an interesting thing about the arrows is that you don't actually have a... You don't actually pick up arrows. You just lose a rupee every time you fire an arrow. So the amount of money is the amount of arrows Jay Cooper has right now. So you notice that he just picked up the boomerang. It's something that it's not normally gotten in an any percent run, but this, uh, this item can kill keys and uh, gels and it can stun enemies. Uh, so it has, and it can pick up items as well. Um, so it, it's very useful in this run. Now, he killed Aquamenus but got hit in order to reset his counter so he knows where he's at uh, leaving, the, leaving level one. So now we're off to uh, level five. We're gonna stop and get uh, some money. And we're gonna start, stop at the uh, heart rock, but we're not gonna get the heart, we're gonna get the, the potion. Who gets the potion in a heart or a potion shop? I nice. messed it up earlier this week. I picked up the heart and said, oh, I needed the potion. This run gets very tricky later on, so this is, purely safety strat, but not, it's recommended. Yeah, <laughs> not for speed, but there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna need this at some point. Ideally I won't use it, but you know, that might be the first time it happened, so. <laughs> and normally in a casual run, you would pick up the uh, heart container over the potion and each of these uh, pick any one you want by uh, getting the letter and then going to a potion shop and buying it for, uh, for rupees. But that's slow, so. Not worried at all about getting hit right there. But you've only got one bomb left. Yeah, don't you need more? I think we're okay. Oh, okay. This is a very important screen scroll in the game. Uh, you can go through the wall there, because uh, it's going to the left. Uh, and the normal way to get up there is to go up, up, up the mountain, uh, which takes way four longer. Screens. Four Four times. Four up, screens, up, up, that's a lot. Up yeah. the mountain. Well, the hints are never really the best of uh, translated in yeah. this game. <laughs> we just stole the um, mummy's bombs. This is probably the, uh, one of the most useful rooms to clip through the block there because you don't have to fight all the dark nuts. This run would be a lot harder if you did actually have to fight them. So you may think that he's using his bombs really nilly and that they're the most important item in the game. I and thought swordless, that. But um, he's about to uh, get more bombs. Might as well use them all up. <laughs> so buying the bombs refills it. Uh, you start with eight, uh, max of eight. And if, when you get one bomb upgrade, it, it automatically fills your bombs all the way up to 10, or to 12, excuse me. And it really doesn't cost a key since you get a key in that room. You just have to have one. That's bad. This is a very important room. He has uh, made his counter at uh, uh, eight, I believe. Um, to force a bomb off these dark nuts because this is the only way you can kill them. There we go. Um, and he's 
making some crazy moves in here. Yeah, that was that was very impressive right there. Yeah. And bombs are the only way you can kill these guys. Right oh, oh, wow. oh man, <laughs> he turned around. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate, but also fortunate. All right, so the rest of this dungeon is pretty simple and not too interesting. So uh, we can get some uh, donation comments during this time. All right, we have plenty. We have ten dollars from Mega Rhino forty three saying, "I'd like to wish Jake Hoper a lot of luck on this run." Also, shout out to all the other Zelda randomized runners on the couch. Donation goes to Jake Hoper's choice. Hope everything continues to go well at this GDQ. My we choice is uh, linked to the past 100%. I don't know if that was said. Okay. We have $50 from Dig Shake saying, Good luck, Jake Hoper. This run should be easy for you since you know where everything is. <laughs> <laughs> Come play some more randomizer races with us soon. We have $10 from Scottimus432. This event is the best. The viewer count is supremely impressive. Just wanted to give a, get a small donation into which Jake Hoper and the others good luck. By the way, you left your recorder at the party last night. I mailed it to the level 5 dungeon. Good luck, you guys. You're the most competitive group going right now. <laughs> and we're going to take advantage of some uh, trick here. The, the actually blow up timer on the bomb continues to count down while, while the whistle is being played. So we just drop a bomb. Blow the whistle, drop another bomb, and no more Dig Dogger. So I only have one bomb left again, but that's all we need, because we're going to seven, and we'll be filling them up soon. The whistle works in this game. It warps you to the dungeons that you've completed. It starts on uh, level one, or at least the, f the first dungeon that you complete. Um, when you blow the whistle up or right, so you go here, here, up or right, it uh, takes you backward, right? Up or right increments the counter. One. Okay, and down and left takes you back. Yeah, decrements. The counter. Decrements. Yeah. Oh, yes. wow, you, you're fancy. Yeah, you know me. Well, it's so ingrained in which way we need to go for any percent. I don't even I, remember. I just face yeah. a direction and blow the whistle. Sure. And it only takes you one, so you'll see him <laughs> blow the whistle once, twice, maybe three times. I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly in this run if you do more than two. And uh, so you know what dungeons you can go to. You can easily warp to where you want to go. You can only warp to the dungeons you've collected the yeah. Triforce in. So that's actually what the counter goes through. So at that point, we've beaten the first five, uh, one, two, three, and five. We've beaten, no, we haven't beaten four. We haven't beaten right. four yet. Yeah, that's a good way of probably We've been... 2-4, but we haven't completed it, so we can't warp there. You do have to get some extra keys in this run, because we have to um, get the wand later, which requires a key. Um, this bomb upgrade of And this bomb upgrade, upgrade sure. So once again, fills from zero, and it increments it to 16. These are the only two upgrades in the game, and really make the run possible. It could be possible could be. to do right. it, but it would right. be. It, yeah. would, it would probably take longer because you'd have to. Most likely. Yeah. Use more bombs. We'll see how important bombs are very shortly. See again, at any percent, you'd be using a sword there, so you don't see any of these sub weapons being used. The great part about Swordless Run is that bubbles don't do anything. <laughs> uh, they actually help you because they can uh, keep you from taking damage. So bubbles very a big problem in any percent, but in this, uh, they're helpful. I hate them so much. Yeah, just not my favorite. Well, they can reset your Connor. Yeah, that's the only bad downside. Or knock you or away from where you want to go. These gorillas are extremely unpredictable and they'll throw their, well, they're predictable in the way that they always hit you. Uh, <laughs> Jake Cooper uh, is about to get the red candle, which is not um, normally gotten either, um, but it helps uh, increment the counter, uh, the consecutive counter later um, in certain rooms in nine. Yeah, the only difference between red and blue candles, you can fire the red candle anytime you want. Um, you can't use it more than once in a room. You can only have two fires on the screen at a time, but uh, as soon as the first one goes away, you can start 
firing again. Kind oh, of that is nice. ridiculous. Yeah. Very nice. Another Dig Dogger. This one actually has three eyes. So it should be three times as hard. But it's not. Was it? Yeah, it's not. Oh, he didn't give you any health. What a surprise. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there are four counters in this game. Um, drop counters. Uh, I, I kind of named them the simple, the bomb, the uh, rupee, and the heart. Um, say, for instance, these wall masters drop a lot of health, or hearts, or... Five rupees. Rupees! rupees. rupees. And, uh, so if you know what enemies drop what, you can, uh, kind of manipulate uh, chances to get what you want. And it makes, you know, management of the game pretty simple. Kind of complicated to learn, though. There are 40 different drops. Mm -hmm. And each enemy that can drop an item has a 40% chance to drop the item uh, currently in the counter. Uh, depends on the counter. They found that it's slightly different depending on which counter. Like the bomb counter drops items less often, while the rupee counter drops items more often than the bomb counter. It's, it's around this, it's a similar range, but it's a little bit different at times. That's actually a relatively new find in speedrunning this game. Here comes another big uh, time saver with the screen scroll. Instead of going through the Lost Woods, you can just screen scroll here and you're already through. Yep. I can't remember the last time I've been in the Lost Oh, I, well, in Randomizer. Yeah, in Randomizer. Or when I messed up earlier. And, <laughs> <you know. laughs> that, yeah, yeah, that one's a bad mess up. Mm -hmm. So this is probably one of the risky, hardest yeah. Especially in Swordless, it's a, it's a very important dungeon, of course, but uh, the fact that we're fighting Wizarobes now with no sword, the only other way to kill Wizarobes in this hmm. uh, game, other than using the sword, is with bombs. Hmm. Very unfortunate there not to get a random bomb drop from the uh, Wizarobes. Um. Yeah, there's, there's ten possible drops the Wizarobes can have, and bombs are three of them. That's uh, eight. Yeah. yeah. So we forced a bomb there to have more, because we have to have a lot of bombs, because it takes three bombs to kill blue wizard robes. Yeah, the difficulty of this of this run has just gone up tremendously um, with wizard robes and uh, them only being able to be killed by by bombs. I really don't want to get hit there, which is why I'm hiding a bit, but I can't hide now. Oh. Oh, wow, That's random, random bomb. Oh. Oh. Well. Potion, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that it's went a little unfortunate. Uh, blue wizard ropes have some nasty patterns. I walked into that spell. It's my own undoing. Yeah, the, the red wizard rope beam, if you didn't notice how he lost health so fast, uh, does four hearts of damage. That was a good use of the bubble there. Okay. Okay, so anytime we don't have to uh, kill wizard robes, we can use another weapon instead. We're going to take that, even if it takes a little longer, because we cannot. <sighs> we're going to have to use a bomb now. Yeah. Like likes have to be. If you get um, eaten by a like like, you have to either use wand, sword, or uh, bombs to get out. Is that it? Yeah. All right, so I'm at three. Yeah. Oof. That's a troll spawn right there. Let's just take a little trip around the room. We're good. Okay. So this is a sidetrack for many percent. Um, a very necessary one because uh, the wand will kill some enemies in this uh, game that only sword is the other option, uh, namely Gleok, the uh, boss of four. I think that's the only and one. And boss of four and boss of eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And, and uh, Patra as well. Patra, yeah. yeah. No random bomb. Here he's leaving the room again to uh, force a wet, uh, red Wizrobe into the room. Where there were three blue before, now there's only two and one red. Getting used to these wizard patterns uh, takes some practice. Uh, they move uh, kind of like, I think you said knights, like in chess, they move over and then yeah. take a right angle. Yeah, they usually um, take right angles yeah. and they usually move after three uh, tiles are moved. They, they can do other things at time, but they seem to be based on a timer. He, he's making this look very easy at this point. Uh, yeah. That was a very good clear of that room. The good thing about the, with this dungeon is that there are Zals. And which, buyers, so and, you can yeah, you increment can force, the counter, sure. Yeah, you can increment the counter to get what you want. This is kind of shows you why knowing 10th enemy has the bomb is so important. Oh, that's nice of that wizard robe. Yeah. <laughs> I just want the bubble to hit me so I can reset my counter. So he's at zero. The reason he does that is going to kill four guys here with the wand. These guys never count one toward the consecutive when they break into uh, keys, so he's at eight in the consecutive right now. Now he's at nine, and you can manipulate this every time. So the first kill he does here, which they didn't spawn for you. Oh yeah, reds can do, or blues can do that. That's kind of their thing. <laughs> so he's, he's waiting for a red guy to, uh, to spawn near the door so he can bomb him because he's at nine in the counter. That's a Not little bad, too close. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. whoa, whoa. That's that that's was perfect. a very that's a good, good drop. Right there, yeah. And these, this is a that's great pattern. Oh, that's, a great, oh, that's, wow. a, that's a great pattern right there. The dream. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Always hate these basements because you can like no damage your way through that such hard a room and then get hit in that room. <laughs> They're awful rooms. Yeah. <laughs> got a good, got a good pattern here from Goma. Walks right down the middle. Uh, you can walk oh, left or right. Wow, funny. nice, nicely done. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. We just beat level six swordless. <laughs> we meaning. We, yeah, well, yeah, well yeah, we, yeah, your uh, co-op, my, my, my part is done, maybe. <laughs> so now we're going to go to eight. We have two dungeons left. We're going to do eight first for not, not really a particular reason. Eight is in some ways just as hard as six. It just happens to have fewer required rooms. Um, there are two in particular rooms that are a pain. We have the wand, which helps. I want a bomb. Not yeah. happening. Maybe we'll get lucky on the manhandler. Yeah. <laughs> that ha getting uh, the, there's a manhandler in the second room here. It's possible that you could kill him, but it's unlikely to happen. Yeah. You don't want to go chasing him because. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Real quick, just want to say we hit $400,000, so good job, everybody. Good job. We did a little bit of, got a little bit of lag here. We'll get some more right here because there's a lot of stuff on the screen. Ooh, how many is that did you get? Nice. I guess it's a good idea for bombs on dark nuts, if you want to take that. Uh, a good idea. Oh yeah, the bombs on the dark nuts. Uh, it, when you place a bomb, it remembers which way you placed it. So um, if he's facing left, the bomb is pretend the bomb is facing left. Oh, okay, left so, for them. So left over here. Yeah. This is going to confuse me. Well, but yeah. if the dark nut is walking into the bomb, into the bomb this way, 
he will not get damaged. He has to walk either at perpendicular or away from it to be damaged. So that's why Jay Cooper tries to kind of lure them around uh, to chase him, and then he'll go the other way and drop a bomb or drop them on the sides. Uh, and bombs do twice as much damage as the wand, so it's a little faster um, and can hit multiple bombs uh, uh, or multiple dart nuts at a time. That was wishful thinking, but almost got away with it. <laughs> oh, all right. It happens enough. Bombs have quite the uh, wide range. It's a little bit bigger in some cases than uh, its actual explosion animation. The wand also has a bigger hitbox oh, than God, the sword. It has a crazy hitbox. You can actually hit a, a, a dark knight or an enemy that's a tile above you if you're facing, I think if you're, they're walking left and they're facing left, if they're above or you. Or walking right, facing, facing right, something right. like that. It's yeah. one of those. Yeah. Getting random bombs here, it's very good. This room also has a bomb drop, which I'm sure he'll, he'll pick up. Good use of the bubble there. Nice, an extra yeah, random bomb, so that's enough for, for now. Yep. Now this boss he's about to fight can only be killed with wand or sword. Bombs do nothing to it. And it's not just, you can't just say the wand. Because oh yeah, that, that's right. Only that the could, wand handle. Right. You're right. Don't want to mislead people to think I could just stand in the corner and shoot at him. So I heard the tink there. Wand does white sword damage. Uh oh. Potion. Yeah, let's do the potion. <laughs> I'm getting another potion anyway. I want to yeah. have a full one going into nine, so no point in taking a chance. This really doesn't lose any time because he has to get the life refill anyway. Yeah. So well, and t unless I get hit again. Unless like yeah, you take more damage. So. Clearly it has like that weird properties to it because it Safety. moves not in a tiled pattern. Anything that doesn't move in a tiled pattern in this game can have really skewed hitboxes. You can be the, the your attacking item and its head can be a good five, six pixels away and you'll still hit him. Other times it can be on him and it won't hit him. Right. So going on a little detour here to get that potion. Oh, look what's over there. Oh, the prize over there. Free heart. And a random bomb, so getting some good drops here recently. Now, we can screen scroll up, down, up, down, down, up, but you have to go, you see that little, you know, the HUD at the very top there. You have to actually go through that to get uh, down to transition. So it's, it's about, if you do it absolutely perfectly, about a 0.5 second save. So we don't really do it that much. So remember that dungeon we didn't complete? Oh yeah, I guess yeah. we have to go back there. Yeah, we're gonna go back there now, since we have the item to kill the boss. We beat Gleok's older brother. Uh, yeah. Now we're heading back to Gleok 1.0. Yeah. Or 2.0, because that was 4.0. Oh, good point. Yeah. Ah, I guess we could do 1.2 to 1.4. I think I should just skip this key. You have to open one door in this dungeon. Yeah. But then you get it at nine? I'll get it at nine. Okay. Like in the any percent route, the, uh, the key route is pretty well determined, so I don't even know what keys I get anymore. I just do the thing and just, get them. Yep, walk through and it's, it's done. And since we've already been here, uh, we've already done a lot of these rooms. Uh, for the first part here, we can do a few more donations. Alrighty, we have plenty. Uh, let's see, we're going to start with, we have a thousand dollar donation oh, from nice. Edward, saying first time watcher, happy to donate for a worthy cause. Crazy to see Legend of Zelda done without a sword. We have a hundred dollars from Xiao Mei Lin, it's dangerous to go alone, nice. so good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> He's hoping the random bomb drops are plentiful and the whips ropes, whips ropes play nicely. They probably won't. They are whiz robes after all, but we can hope. Jake Oper gets to choose where these hundred dollars goes. Nice. These hundred dollars go towards, as long as he remembers to clean his map after this run. Good. <laughs> I was hoping she would do that. Oh. So I would say that. We have fifty dollars from Perfect Mario. <laughs> Nine twenty saying. Nice. So awesome to see so many great Zelda one runners in the same place. Hope you're having fun in the Twin Cities. Good luck on the Swordless run, Jake Oper. Stay away from the like likes and let the KPR grunts be few. Money to runner's choice. 
Blame Purple Mario for that fire there. We'll tell him later. Yeah. Oh, we don't need that. Ooh, <laughs> wow. skipping it. Oh, we're getting uh, risky. One, here. one tile away. It's I, too I just, far. <laughs> I just want the 13. I'm happy. Ganon, right. do, Ganon does four hearts of damage. That's our biggest. With that concern. nice little, uh, you know, luxurious jaunt into level four, we now have the entire Triforce. Right. So. So again, we can't kill Ganon, so we're going to actually, for the purposes of this run, kill Ganon. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, wood sword, the beginning sword that, you know, we accidentally forgot at the beginning of the run. Yeah, who... Yeah. You guys should have like, told me. I, like, yeah. <laughs> it seemed... It was right there. I don't know why I didn't check it. It's dangerous I, to go alone with, all, with your wand, with your candle, with your bow and arrow, with your whistle with your potions with your bombs take this yeah <laughs> yeah so we're picking up the sword now i'm not going to use it until i get to ganon so yeah normal the way we usually do it for any percent is timing ends when we enter ganon's room but uh, not for this purpose since we're going to actually kill ganon Have time for a quick donation? Sure. Yes. We have fifty dollars from Savers saying, "Hey, Jay Coper, I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and best of luck on the run from everyone here at Channel TLOZ. Also, hashtag Whistle Strats. Oh. <laughs> whistle Strats are not happening, Saver. Yeah, I, sorry. I, I, I tried them a little bit. Uh, it, it would also look silly. So, oh, that was bad. You wish you got that heart now, don't you? Oh, yeah, that was I was kind of trapped there. I should have just ran into the lever. That's a that, that's a DW strat right there. <laughs> uh, avoid half heart damage by running into something that does two heart damage. Don't forget the key. Great pattern here in the first room. I got hit. Any, yeah, yeah, I got hit. I wasn't sure which. Yeah, I, I didn't either. Yeah, one. I would have recommended that. Oh, now I'm at zero again. As you might imagine, this is the hardest dungeon for Swordless. And it's uh, very, it's like, as much as six was important on bomb management, this ramps it up even more. You might say, well, he got the sword, but now since we're killing Ganon, we have to go get the silver arrows. Usually you could just go past them um, in Swordless Run. Um, but here we have to get it to kill Ganon. You want to talk about this room right here? This room? This yeah, the, yeah, you this have one where this guy This guy. Just you have about shot. a 10% chance of getting shot at, at least in my anecdotal you know, like thousand 50, of times through here. 50% for you sometimes. Though. Sometimes, yeah. There we go. We got the clip there. That's a pretty cool clip. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to do that again. Kind of engineered the route through that room so that you can use your wand or sword while you're in the doorway and then hit... Uh, hit the patch or eyes without taking any damage. Oh, so that's, that's a uh, that's very fortunate to get that. Ooh, Ooh. excellent bombs! Oh, oh, oh that, was that would have excellent. been the ultimate. Uh, I think you're at one. I think. Yeah, I'm We're not sure here. Yeah, that's, now you're at zero. Yep. <laughs> All right. That's no how guessing. counting. Yeah, that's no how guessing. counting goes in this game. One, two, three, four, zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, I have to refill my bombs. I'm going to need a lot of bombs for the rest of this dungeon, so... Oh, oh okay. Uh, yep, okay. we'll start over again. Five. Five. It does take a team to count to ten. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so there's definitely got to be a joke somewhere about uh, how many Zelda speedrunners does it take to count light bulbs or something, or... <laughs> I think you just count, made one. Yeah. Count, count to ten is good enough. To to bypass the uh, fairy counter, which is sixteen, you have to k kill a consecutive enemy on k number sixteen that does not drop an item, or you hit uh, seventeen or eighteen right afterward. It'll skip it that way as well. Very nice. 
So when he splits them with the candle, those Zoles respawn. If he bombs them, then they do not come back. So he candled three guys in the, uh, before he left, and now he'll uh, take them all out because he's got max bombs. I wanted a hard trap, but yeah. I got the max bombs. That's what's important here. So we'll try not to kill this guy. If he's a jerk, then... Maybe the plans will change. Nice. Right. Very go. nice. Nice so. clip. That's not the best spawn ever. No. Seems to, to be a for common theme recently. Okay, the reverse C room nice. is... Yep. It works. Yeah. It does work. Use of a... Fortunately, walking into... A red wizard nice. oak is only one heart damage rather than their beams doing four. Oh, Blues are two both that. ways. We think that's the hardest room in the game. It's yeah. just the most, it's very critical and there's a lot of damage in there. You can't uh, go through the wizard robe's invincibility frames. Yep. They'll, they'll damage you anyway. Yep. Um, and the thing he was talking about earlier was that if you don't press anything on the D-pad walking through the door and then press up as you're about to enter, you can most likely get a good spawn. Oh, excellent reverse block clip. Uh, that's the scariest trick in the game. Okay. Patch is still there. Yeah, Patch is still there. <laughs> it's easy to forget that you haven't actually killed this guy. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, he was uh, very, very generous. Right, yeah. yeah. I don't want to kill them, so we're going to walk around them. You can clip through that Patch, but at this point, it's, yeah. we're not, uh, it's not worth it. No. That was interesting. My bitch might be shot at here. Okay. Okay, good. Nice. Oh, wow, the dream. Oh, call oh. Him. oh, he's still alive. Yeah. Just die. There we go. We only need one more bomb at this point, so that is definitely not a concern. Getting shot at by Wizard Robe is a small concern. Oh, especially not. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna use a potion in a yeah, second. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So how's it Take going? a drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the water of life, the potion. Yeah. <laughs> It's also important to get off your potion so you don't accidentally use it again. Yeah, you can use it again if you have full health, so it's, it's important. That was a little too close. He cornered me. And here's Ganon. Now we're going to use the sword for the absolute first time. Hopefully we know how to use it. Hopefully. Potion, four potion, hearts. potion. All right, all right. If Ganon touches you, he does four heart damage. So we're not taking any chances whatsoever. He might only have like one hit left, but... Oh, oh, see, this is why we don't take chances. Oh! oh! All right, you need to finish this. <laughs> no, I'm... A, you have to give it to Lack. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, that is disappointing. He was probably one hit away. Now our resources are significantly less. You want to go get your life, get refill? Well, we can try it, I guess. Up A. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All right, I can just warp to seven. Not two. 
But that, that fight is extremely difficult with the wooden sword. You have to hit Ganon 16 times. It's possible to stun lock him, but it's, it's pretty random if you actually get him. Um, he can break he, out of it in a wood sword pattern seemingly nope. more often. Uh, <laughs> Pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> no, nothing to see here. Oh. That was the recorder. He just stabbed him with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I could have done... I could have done the thing. You could have. Well, you're full now, so. Yeah, we can just go to whistle to uh, one at this point. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> An interesting thing about this, uh, this game we discovered during the randomizer is you can actually up A while your life is refilling, and your life will continue refilling when you go back to start. That yeah. would have been a great time to showcase it if I was still paying attention. That's, uh, that's something we wanted to talk about or mention a little bit, that there's a, a really cool randomizer program for this game. Yeah, well, well, well we've got a moment here. Sure. Um, if you heard some of the donations earlier, one of them was from uh, uh, tw his Twitch, is uh, F. Coughlin, F-C-O-U-G-H-L-I-N. Um, he and Lyat kind of corroborated at the beginning. Uh, this is kind of how it started. You were kind of talking about it, about uh, making a program that... Uh, you know, we know where everything is in this game. Uh, we were kind of wondering would, how fun would this be to, you know, play this game where we didn't know where everything was. So uh, Fred, he went ahead and uh, did that and made a complete program where everything is shuffled in this game. You know, if you enter this, this cave here, you might get a guy selling bait. Or, uh, the, or level two, you know, it's yeah. it, all the caves are randomized and the program, uh, you, you run it on your computer and you can select a large number of flags that um, make the game more randomized as you select more of them. And we've gotten, I mean, we've gotten, we've gone through, let's see, chaos, anarchy, yeah, yeah. pandemonium, mass hysteria, maelstrom, yeah, right. lot, just the, yeah, the nouns are running out. We're, But that's, that's free to get. You can go to... Yeah. Yeah. Um, We're also going to uh, be having the second big release of that randomizer, the 2.0, which introduces a lot of new features, and I think that's going to be happening. Hey, there's oh, a 10%. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think that's going to happen around the end of August, maybe like the 22nd-ish. Oh, apparently I can't do you that. You can get those bombs, too. But you do have I two rooms you have to go now, through. Yeah, now, it's... I, yeah, now that I got hit, I think I'm going to... Since he left the dungeon, the, uh, the, the wizard robe room where he has the traps, um, the last one that's required has respawned. Otherwise it wouldn't because uh, traps are considered enemies. He still has the stairs for oh, uh, oh, wizard room too. Might as well just leave. <laughs> this actually happened earlier. Uh, how that works is that the second eye that spawns in that, in that circle of eyes is uh, the determiner points. of uh, its pattern. It's more efficient at burning the old man. Yeah. But, but he's not doing that just for, for comedy. It actually increments the counter when you hit the old man. <laughs> that old man is a jerk. He yeah, tells he you to go to the next room. He doesn't help you. He just says, leave. Yeah, he had it coming. He deserved it at AGDQ. He deserves it now. God. I needed that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a random nice, fairy, not uh, a force. I was going to say, nice force fairy. That was really good. Yeah. Sorry. Not so what are you saying here? Two, maybe? It's really hard to keep track of everything in all the... I'm, I'm going to have to clear that one room of wizard rubs again, so I'm going to need some more bombs. He wants to get three, so it's three, three, three to be at nine. Seven's going to be enough? No, I'm going to get one more. Yeah, one Go. more. I should have just left the couch when I got to Ganon. Because I, I, I'm like the... Ganon loves to chew on me. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. So it's two and two in that room. If you hit all of them singularly, he needs uh, eight bombs. Patrick's still there, too. He is still here. Yeah. So the Patrick's, since they're uh, categorized as a mini boss or a boss type enemy, they, uh, once you kill them, they're not, uh, they don't come back when you, if you leave the dungeon and re enter. This guy is just not being happy news. Well, I'm not going to get a fairy from him, so I'm going to go on. Is it six? You could kill these and then go right and get a couple fairies. I'll, uh, I might try for a fairy in the last room before the stairs. Now the uh, spawns have changed a little bit, not what we expect. Although we expect those to be the wrong ones at that point. But again. I appreciate the health drops. Of course, we get the uh, bad spawn there. Okay, so... Now let's start, I think, by just killing these guys. What we're trying to do here is get up to uh, 16 on the uh, consecutive counter so that we can force a fairy. Five. Six. Seven. Made uh, harder seven. since the bubbles actually do uh, reset your counter. Sure to do. Could go into the uh, basement. The basement, yeah. I think I'll go to fourteen. Oh, I forgot <laughs> why I went down there. <laughs> I gotta kill one keys. One keys. Okay. So ideally, he hits both of these at the same time. Yeah. Kills them, but I'm not sure that's going to uh, happen. Maybe let's see. You... Let's get some new spawns here and yeah. see if we can put them together. That's, that's possible. Be that's better, yeah. Oof. Yeah, that was... So what he's trying to do here, he's at 14 in the uh, consecutive counter. If he kills more, than, if he kills multiple enemies to reach 16 on the consecutive counter, it's a fairy drop. <laughs> But they are not cooperating at all. Um, yeah, that didn't add that anything didn't to the right. consecutive counter because the, uh, the way what, he killed it, yeah. the way he broke it. But what he's trying to do is to uh, to get both of the Zals to drop a, uh, a fairy, so then he can get six hearts instead of just three. Well, this might actually that's work. Some promise. Wow. Come on, come on, little guy. The problem there, the bubbles <laughs> are over there. Bomb. Oh, I can use a bomb. Yeah, bomb. I don't need the bombs at this point. And there, there we go. go. There Finally. Go. So the, uh, the Ganon fight, actually, you can, well, we mentioned earlier, you can stun lock him. It's on a, it's on a timer um, when his invincibility frames run out. So you have to listen to the audio cue. What is um, that? I don't know what that to is. To get it, so... 
Neither, none of us have seen this pit spawn before. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Oh. Uh, it's not meant to be. You can't kill Ganon and. You Swiss. can't kill Ganon and Swordless. Oh. <laughs> uh. I really don't want to go through this again. Okay. <laughs> well, this actually did turn out Swordless then. Well, kind of. Yeah. yeah, I was, I was, I want to, I would wonder what the count is. I think I was like one hit away the I first think so. time. It was yeah, we'll have high. to look back on it and see how close we actually were to uh, getting them. But uh, yeah, yeah. We, we, let's have another round. It's a round of applause for our runner. That was awesome. Yeah. That's just fun. That's going to so, be a really good uh, uh, Ganon time. Time to Ganon? Yeah. yeah. That's going to yeah. be a really yeah. good time to Ganon. It was near 46. It was a good run beyond that. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So it was a really good run to Ganon. The point of Swordless is to get to Ganon. It's yeah. just, you know, what it takes, what, 16, I think it is? 16, mm -hmm. 16, 16. hits to, to uh, redline Ganon, kind of literally, yeah. in a way. And uh, he just, you know, wouldn't cooperate. This is very... This is not the first time this has happened. This has happened to me on more than one... Well, Same. this has happened to me a lot at GDQ, so... Uh, Commiserate with me. <laughs> oh. So I, I want to thank everyone so much uh, for donating to get this in because that that's uh, you know really humbling and you know you can't say enough about that. Uh, of course, it's mostly about the charity, but the fact that people dated, donated eight thousand dollars to see this and then more for the file names and stuff is you know it's a big honor Quite to, to do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Very good. And. So, you know, if you want to see me do this and kill Ganon, <laughs> yeah. it'll probably happen again sometime. Yeah, it'll happen again. Come to the stream. So. so. All right. Yeah, thank you, thank guys. you. One more round of applause. All right, we have one thousand dollar donation. Uh, one thousand dollar donation from Twerk Stomp saying, second time watcher, all time Zelda fan. My father and aunt had run-ins with cancer a year ago, and both recovered. Keep doing what you're doing and being awesome at it. Thank you very much for that generous donation. All right, coming up next, we do have the Earthbound run, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> 